morning and howdy. My name is Henry Chigi and welcome to my Wednesday morning leadership videos. I believe that a coaching style of leadership with foundations built on trust, integrity, and respect for all people contributes tremendously to create a world that works for all of us. Thank you for being part of making that vision a reality. These free videos and free blogs are part of my expression of my commitment and passion to that vision. I'm very happy you've chosen to be part of my tribe and are doing your part to make our joint vision real. My goal here is to help you build your company and your team to create outstanding results in a way that is both gentle on your people and ruthless on the challenges that they and you face. Today, I'll be sharing with you some thoughts about 10 simple ways to fire up your team. Great leaders know how to motivate others. Since the amount you can accomplish on your own is limited, it's necessary to have the assistance of others. Someone that can motivate others to do their best has an incredibly valuable talent. When you can inspire others, you can accomplish so much more for yourself and for your company. To motivate others to do their best, first, be emotionally supportive. To help others shine, remove the fear of failing or looking foolish is critical. Most people are frozen by fear and prefer to remain comfortable. We all hate not looking good. When fear is greater than potential accomplishment, nothing happens. Removing fear can be twice as effective as creating additional motivation. Second, provide necessary support. Ask what resources are required. Does your employer require additional help or funds to get a project off the ground? Perhaps your child needs a tutor or assistance with creating a resume. Determine what resources are required for success and put them in the system, provide them. Third, follow up regularly. Show that you care by monitoring their progress. Ask open-ended questions and then listen. Asking those questions will also help to keep them on track. Two people putting their heads together can make a huge difference for both people. Fourth, be publicly supportive. It's one thing to support an employee in the privacy of your office. It's quite another to be supportive in front of her co-workers. Parents are guilty of this too. Avoid only supporting your children around the dinner table. Support them in public as well. Fifth, acknowledge and reward. Acknowledge progress and effort regularly. Everyone needs a little boost now and then. Ideally, give acknowledgements publicly. Conversely, any criticism or any discipline should be handled privately. Have your acknowledgements contain both a specific detail of what you are acknowledging and a general statement on what that means and how you feel about them. When correcting, criticizing, or disciplining, keep your feedback private, very specific, and absolutely no generalization. Six. As for ideas, you might hear a few ideas that are as good or better than your own. It's easier for others to get excited and committed about pursuing their own ideas rather than your ideas. Using ideas from your team will create a sense of purpose, commitment, and involvement. Seventh, be clear, vagueness breeds confusion. Confusion saps enthusiasm. When you confuse others, you lose. When the objective and necessary steps are simple and clear, motivation is easier to generate. Ensure that everyone is clear on their roles. Confirm that everyone understands and is on the same page. Remember, keep it simple. Number eight, set a good example. If it's important for you, it will be important to your employees, your spouse, or your children. Don't just tell them it's important, but show them 
by your behavior. Make the objective a priority in your own life. Ninth, create a vision. Paint a picture through a story of the end result in the minds of those involved. The work may at times not be fun, but it's the result that matters and that is what everyone remembers. Keep reminding everyone of how great things will be, how it will feel when the objective is accomplished and why that objective matters. The work is a path to reach that goal. And then 10th, deal swiftly with dissenters. It only takes one dissenting, potentially charismatic employee to bring the whole thing crashing down. There's often one complainer in an organization our team that tries to undermine the enthusiasm of everyone else. Don't underestimate the damage this one person can do. If it occurs, have a heart to heart conversation with them. And if they don't correct, move them out of the group. Motivation isn't just about adding positive motivation. It's also about removing the obstacles. Dissenters are obstacles. Encourage the sharing of opinions. However, once a decision has been made, expect cooperation and alignment. Encourage others to do their best and fulfill their potential. Motivating others is a skill that anyone can develop and it is learned by actually doing it. This is a case of taking massive action. If you like this idea, take it out in the world and start to do it. Over the years, you'll get better and better and better. You can only be as successful as your team. Avoid the belief that you can do it all alone. You can. Great leaders are tasked with the responsibility of inspiring others to excel. It's a challenging but tremendously fulfilling task. But if you're good at motivating others, you'll always be one of the most important people around wherever you show up. Want help with getting mastery and motivating your team? Schedule a free discovery session with me below this video. Leadership matters. It especially matters to you and all the folks in your life. Please consider that. Success is nothing more than a few small disciplines practiced every day. And failure is a few errors in judgment repeated daily. Bye-bye for now.